Okay, here's your sort of heads up to this five minute quickie. If you're a regular listener here, you'll notice that the five minute quickies don't come quite so often, but they're things I'm thinking about at the time, and I'm just going to drop them into your earpiece. So you can have a listen. I want you to think, well, spur you on to think about things. Motivate you to do things and make a difference. A difference to you, a difference to the world outside you, and ultimately a difference to me. Because I'll get to feel good because I know you're doing wonderful things. So have a listen to this little thought now. Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal Development Unplugged. Hi guys, welcome to this five minute quickie podcast of the Personal Development Unplugged type. And it is just a little snippet that I want to throw into your mind. Because sometimes, well, put it this way. Would you go to the gym and never do the same exercise twice? Never, ever. So you've done the exercise, or I've done that. You wouldn't do that, would you? I know when I go to the gym, I do the same exercise. I might change it slightly, but I'll go back and I'll have different days doing rowing, same type of row. I test myself. I will, even my eldest son gave me the most gruesome thing to do it sounded quite easy at the time do 2000 meters he said and time yourself on the rowing machine oh, that's easy enough i've done longer than that before but to do it in a time oh it was terrible i was pleased at the end and i will do it again because i'll notice what i've learned i'll notice if i've got better i'll notice if the things i'm doing are not just in the rowing but with my kettlebells and things like that are, well, are they making a difference? But I'll go back and repeat the same exercises because I might make them a bit more difficult, a bit more heavier, and maybe a bit more longer, a bit more faster, but it's basically refreshing every time. And you do that. I'm sure you do that with other things. If you don't go to the gym, you might go running or things like that. You do this, you don't just run once and call it, well, I've done it. I'm not going to do that again. But isn't that sometimes what we do with this personal development? This thing we've caught, this thing, personal development, our own personal development. And how many times you go back through your own old journals, if you write journals, and notice what nuggets were in there that you missed? How many times do you go back through those exercises that we've talked about and do them again? Notice how much you've improved. How many times do you just stop and pause and think and carry on doing that? Because I've stopped and paused once, Paul. It was awesome. Not doing it again. What more could you learn from each time you do these things? Because you will. So all I want to do now is just to encourage you to have a look about, back at things like the books that you've read. Because I guarantee you, if it was a book that made a difference to you, or a book that you, you found a little bit difficult, but you got through it, when you go there again, you'll find something special. Because you're at a different level now than when you were back then. When you read it, so you were learning one bit and you couldn't take it all in, and now you've got that, you'll get that other. It'll be gems, and it'll make a difference to you. Knowledge without action, it's nothing. But keep refreshing that knowledge. Make it deeper, make it richer, make you, you know, ask yourself questions about it. Even if it's, what more can I find from this? What more can I learn? Challenge yourself. Make it a habit. Schedule it. I'm going to reread that book. Or I'm just going to open a page of that book and read it for 20, 10 minutes. See see what comes out. Because again, it, I don't know how it happens. Serendipity, coincidence. But when you open up a book, to me, it just, well, it always has some information that I needed right then. Something I'd forgotten about. And it goes, oh yeah, that's it. Maybe it was my unconscious mind leading me to that right thing. And it will do for you. So think about, I'm not telling you to think about it, but it might be a good idea. Mightn't it be a good idea to just look at back at the things you've done? Look at back at the things you've learned. Look at the exercises you've done in the past. Look at and listen to some of the old podcasts here. There'll be gems in for you that you didn't, maybe you weren't paying attention just at that moment when that gem came along because something distracted you. Look at the ones that just pop out or the ones that you go, hmm, 
I seem to remember that one. What was it about again? Listen to it again. These are the things that are going to make a difference because you don't just go to the gym and do one exercise and forget about it. But that's what happens or will happen, I think, if you just do something once and never repeat it, never refine it, never make it richer. Even if it's teaching it to somebody else, you get it again. And it it just explodes in a good way inside you, makes your life richer, makes your capabilities, your skills that much more dense, intense. And therefore your behaviours are that much better. And they're going to link with your beliefs because you know and you believe you can do this. You know you're going to find something from that. And they're going to be aligned with your values. And you are going to make your whole identity richer. Notice how we went up to identity. And from there, that connection with whoever, whatever you connect with through your identity. There you go. That's a five-minute quickie. Something to think about. Hope you like it. I'm just going to throw these in every now and again. They're not going to necessarily be on a Wednesday, so keep an eye out. Something to think about. If you like these, do get in touch with me. Email me, feedback at personaldevelopmentunplugged.com. That's it. See you next time for a longer pod. Bye. Receiving a gift feels awesome. Giving a gift feels awesome. Awesome for the giver, awesome for the receiver so sharing what we have here gets you to feel awesome gets the person receiving this sharing to feel even more awesome and to know they're connected and to know you're connecting it's the most wonderful feeling in the world i love when my sons send me information to look at because they're sharing with me they're thinking about me we're connecting and i know they feel good when they do it too so why not share this podcast if you would to connect with others share it with your friends even people you don't know it will make such a difference to them it's selfless service which is this well what is this podcast is is based upon and it's reciprocal and it's not meant to be but it just is so the more you share the more you get back even though we do it in a selfless way it just makes the whole world so much better and you will never know how far the ripples of change will go by just sharing or just sharing what you know and thinking about people. Let's connect. Let's make everyone else feel awesome because we're connecting with them. It will really feel so good. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.